Everybody, welcome back. We are going to try to do the the legs I see stipulation. What the hell is that? Okay, it's a mediocre <laughs> man. No mediocre magic man has submitted this stipulation. Okay. And uh, it's called legs I see because we're doing the legacy cube. So we're doing the legs I see stipulation where we have to take cards that have legs in them. Is there exceptions? So like here's the thing. Stuff. I feel like we should be able to take lands every so often. I haven't been able to confirm this with Mediocre Magic Man. But I feel like if we're only able to take cards with legs in them, we never get any lands. So Well, we can't take Ponder because that's a fish. That ain't legs. That's true. Those are not legs. We but can take Young Pyromancer. So he has legs. So it is <coughs> Shriek Maw does not have legs, but no. he does have hands. I think this counts as like you can see like a leg here. Legs. Like you can see legs here. Sure. Um Ooze does not have any legs. No, he's an ooze. This guy's got some legs. I'd go with Tolerant. Really? Or young people. How many cards are we gonna get in addition to these two these two creatures that need spells? How many spells are we gonna be able to get that have, have legs, legs on, on them? Oh, that's a good point. We can also well, take Bedevil. This person has legs. Oh, let's take Bedevil then. Yeah, you wanna try some blue black? Why blue black? It's red black. That's oh treachery has legs. Boy, this, don't it. This bird has legs. Time warp does not honestly have legs. Nope. The, the mirror well, it depends on what version of time warp the other art does have legs because there's like a guy surfing away. Oh, that's true. This one does not though. No. All right. What if a card doesn't have art and how do we judge it? Um, we can look it up. We can look. It I up, think I someone told me how to fix that. Really? Yeah. How do you do it? You make it a little bigger, and then you you scroll up and down, and that should help it. I don't know. We'll see. It hasn't happened yet, though. We should take treachery. Though. I'm gonna take treachery. treachery. <clears throat> I feel like manlands are acceptable because they move around on something. Yeah, but but so does legs. like right, but ponder because the like merfolk wouldn't be able to. Well, I guess it depends on. Ooh, Dak Faden's got some legs. Also awesome colored. <clears throat> so it is ultimate price. Bolos. Do we care about Golos, though? It's pretty good. Is it? What does it do? It just gets a land. <coughs> yeah, but like a dual land. Oh, a dual land. Ooh! <clears throat> hey, man, fixing is important. I don't know. I think it's either Dak or Ultimate Price. Ultimate Price does have legs. I'll take Dak. Although Dak's not as good in this cube. Like you're not I agree. You're I not agree. I said that same much. thing the other day. I think so it's just ultimate price. price. Yeah. Whereas ultimate price is good because it just kills like any dude. Yeah. And if you're only using Dak to plus, it's not that great. Your mom is using Dak to plus. Thank you. Hmm. Mascorum unfortunately does not. Gamma said, "Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back." Can't believe it's been a year. What am I doing with my life? Being awesome, I guess. I, I, I are you looking at for his legs? I wanted to see if in the background those were people, but they're not. I oh, if they were people, you can make it. Yeah, you yeah, can do that, it. That's what I was trying to go for. Doomblade kind of has legs here. Yeah. Fight with Fire has legs. Searing Thank Spear you. has legs. Jojo MK, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate you guys. Mutal Vault? No legs. That's true. But a Mutal Vault is all the creatures with legs. Oh, that's a good point. Think about it. I don't what? think we take it because we're three. No, colors, we're not. I, no, I was not. I'm not like. I think we just take Searing Sphere. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably. It's honestly probably the the most reasonable card. I could see the Blade, but there's a lot of good black creatures. Yeah, we also already have an ultimate price, so. And a Bedevil. Oh, Blood Crypt. I'm probably just gonna take a Blood Crypt. I'll use that as my. <clears throat> yeah, Blood Crypt seems <clears throat> important. And calm, step. Legs, I see stiff. Must be able to see legs in card art. There we go. Done. Yeah, because you strict to if you stick to strictly legs only, we can never take any land, and that seems very hard to do. I think land should just be an exception, like power. Right, because if you're only taking cards with legs, you're just gonna have thirty three cards, and you're gonna run seventeen basics. Yeah. That's good. Oh, Scarab God has some legs, boy. You can barely see them, but they are. In no, the you can you can see you can see a leg. Everything below this is legs, my Let's friend. See if anything better? Nope. No. I didn't actually <laughs> uh, look. Nope. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Scarab God is a boss. <clears throat> Scarab God's 
really like if you if your opponent doesn't have a sword, that card is just nuts. Mm. They can kill it, and you can just get it back. Exactly. Like I said, so unless they have a swords, they're not in good shape. Ooh, Murder Shredcap has legs. He does. Bone Shredder. I don't. You know. Uh, I can't think we can call that legs. I'm. I'm not. Yeah, that'd be a real stretch. I think. Yeah, say red cap. It's fine. Fine card. So red, black, splashing blue. Hmm. Getting red cap back with Scarab God's also pretty sweet. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh, also he shoots for four when he comes. Yeah. Out. Oh, yeah, that is good. I yeah. Think of that. That's what I mean. Yeah, because he shoots equal to his power. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Granielock does have legs, so it's the only card on color with legs. A good land so. For us, so we might play it. Hmm. Not terrible. It's like big red. Big Grixis. Big Grixis. Big big. I call this deck Texas Red. Huh. Lava coil <clears throat> seems fine. This is a good removal. It has legs. Yeah. It doesn't. Have, it doesn't say. It simply can't be like you have to see the entire leg because otherwise the cards are just unplayable. I don't think this stipulate. I don't think this stipulation is even good with uh with having to see their entire legs because otherwise like it can't take this can't take this can't take Strix's this can't take this can't take this as long as you can see yeah I do like the Strix because you can see the legs very clearly right here oh there's Golos Golos he came got legs. Back. I actually think Golos is better now that we're playing three colors and it's not like super high pick um I'll just take Dinosaur I guess it's got sure. legs whatever I would like more fixing lands but we'll see I haven't actually been that many. Yeah, it's not like we passed Grixis, a ton. At least. Find that big uranium rock. I remember Mocha, not bad. I don't think I get it again though. Um taking Magister Worth. <clears throat> you don't think you'll get it again? Nah. <clears throat> Maybe you're the fresh one from the actual Starbucks. Oh, a fresh one. I'm gonna go get a fresh one. I'm gonna have a fresh one with the boys. <laughs> Isn't that the meme? <clears throat> I can't go to Starbucks unless I win a poker game. I gotta tighten up. You also can't go to Starbucks unless they have bananas in stock. They don't, unfortunately. It's they don't have sad. bananas in stock? No, they don't do it anymore. No more bananas. Wow. Bananas have been cut off. Maybe you were cut off. <laughs> like, this guy's ordering too many bananas. We gotta stop him. Let's just not carry him, guys. This pack's pretty rough. It's also not a land we can. Just nothing. It's like Crystal Brand. Oh. Crystal Brand definitely feels like one of the few cards that we can take here. Actually, I'd rather just take like Damnation. There's no legs in that. Oh, yeah. You're Wait. Right. There's totally fucking legs in the Damnation, oh, you're right, dude. Yeah. yeah, there's little. There's people. Look, there's legs. There are legs. Got it. That's amazing. Uh, I think Blue Delta is better if we're going to take a hand. Okay, I agree with that, especially because now we can get all three colors. And hopefully this comes back. Yeah, we're going to take the Polluted Delta so we can have a playable deck. Underground oh. Sea, we're taking that. There aren't even any good that's legs. Like a, that's like power in this cube. Un original blue dual lands are like power in the cube. Come on. One time uh, Volcanic Island. No? Okay. Oh, Glenelandra Archmage has legs. She do. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Weird stick at st weird stick fairy legs, but don't be hating on her legs. Mm, that's fair. It's messed up. I'm taking some of these. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Just two. See, my name is Mike, so I get to have some. I guess that's fair. I can't even argue with that. Butt arms tribal go. What does that mean? What? Butt arms tribal go. Got me. I'm going to take a line draw trade. Legs are just the arms of butts. Okay. I can't argue with that. You know, but maybe you should. <laughs> hmm. That plateau is not a volcanic island. I was There's hoping legs. it was. Fire ice does have some legs on it. Uh, so there's Charter Course, but mm. I think Fire Ice is better. Thank you! Dankus Dags, thank you so much for the resub. I like that your resub message is, hi, Mike. Hi, Dankus Dads. <laughs> Dags, rather, not uh, Dads. Dads? 
I said dankest dads. Dankest dads. Those are my dankest dads. You guys are the dankest dads. Free booty has legs. Yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh, we could. It is a long shot, but we could take phase looting. Hope to wield Gristle Brand and reanimate stuff. And we have Booger and Hellkite. Booger and Hellkite? Also, we do have Scarab God, so phase looting gets better. I think Fire Ash is better. I do too. I mean. When Fire Ash is good, it's real good. Money, money, honey. Like when it kills two creatures, you're like, oof. Beautiful. It's like the sweetest candy. Is it plateau an island? Isn't everybody not isn't everything an island on a grand enough scale? If you keep walking, you will hit water. Hmm. I guess when you when you think about it like that. Nicol Bolas has legs. He sure do. I kinda wanna just take Nicol Bolas here. There's not really anything else in the pack. Sour of Temptation's like. good. Yeah, but it's not that good. It's not treachery good. Treachery good? Yeah, it's not as good as treachery is what I'm saying. I'm taking Nicol Bolas. Oh, Watery Grave? Yeah, that's pretty good. Nicol Bolas doesn't... This Niv Missa doesn't even have legs. I can't see a leg in this picture. Negate's good. I can see taking Negate, but I just want this Watery Grave to make well, I think sure. Nicol, I think Niv Missa does have legs. You just can't see him in that picture. Right, but that's relevant. That's true. Uh, oof, nothing, nothing for us here, unfortunately. There is no legs in Go for the Throat, unfortunately. No, there's no legs, so we're just free to take whatever, right? I have no. Oh, well, well, no, there are legs. cards with legs, though. Oh, you're right. Like Soren or Carnage Tyrant. I'll just take Carnage Tyrant. Or actually, just take Soren. Are these le these aren't legs, right? These are tentacles. I think they're legs. All right, I'll take Soren. Gristlebrand came back. Also, like the only other playable card is like Roast. Which I don't really care about. Since and I also don't know if these already. are legs, man. Yeah, let's take Brandy. No, that's a tail, because that's a Naga. That's 100% a Naga. Yeah, I'll take Gristle Brand, sure. Ooh, Ooh, the Summit came the back. Summit came back. Nice. You know what's funny? You can actually kind of make an argument for being legs on here. Because this is a dinosaur. Yeah. You guys didn't see that? You ever seen this? This is Elena Danner's art. I definitely prefer those versions of these lands. They look way better. Oh, I like makeshift mannequin here. Especially with like Hellkite and Gristle Brand. Brand. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. And Scarab God. Yeah, I'll take I'm gonna take I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that. Playable hashtag. Cavalier of Night. We can see legs in that card. It's dark, but there's gotta be some freaking legs on Triple this. Triple black though, I don't know if we'll play it, but Well, we're can. not gonna play Garrick. We might play Hour of Devastation, that's an option. It does have legs on it. Several legs. Yeah, we'll take Hour. In case we face like a really mean Oh, Siege Gang Commander. And Faithless Looting? Maybe we just take Faithless Looting. I now. take Faithless. Alright. <clears throat> Grave crawler? I don't even know if you have legs. He crawls. He's got to have something. If he's crawling, that means he, that's an indication that he does not have legs. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Our lands are looking good. Blood Crypt, Dragon Skull Summit, Water Grave, Pluto Delta, and Underground Sea. If we can get a Bad Lands or a Volcanic Island here, that'd be fantastic. I think two more good fixing lands in our deck is like right where you want it. I think our fixing is decent already. Okay, you don't have to brag. Fallen Shinobi doesn't look like you have legs. Recurring Nightmare, you don't have legs. He does, you just can't see him. Right, but that's the point. Yeah. Gonti? I think has you can, legs. I think you can see some Gonti legs here. Yeah. Let me make this bigger just so everyone everyone can see the legs. Yeah, there's yeah, definitely legs leg. here. He's showing a little leg. I'm a wordy person, and I really don't have the words to describe how badly. I Apparently, mean, you don't. Well, I think Twitch cuts you off through certain words. What about Electrolyze? Electrolyze has legs. I actually kind of Electrolyze. How badly I want this leg stiff to go all the way. <laughs> I was like, huh? I think that has legs too, Retro Confluence. Yeah, but I feel like we want some more three drops. Like, we have no three drops here. I think it's Electrolyze. Okay. It has legs. Coalition Relic has no legs, standard beat. I don't even know how you can mistake that for legs, my friend. Yeah, if it wasn't all legs step, I would definitely take that because that card's nuts. But Same. I don't know if you have legs. Yeah, he has legs. Right there. Where? Hold oh, on. Those are arms. I can see hands. Right, I can see arms. arms. Oh, no. Yeah, Is this right a leg? Yeah, totally a leg. It's got to be a leg, right? I hit return instead of shift. 
<laughs> uh, Psalm Simulacrum also has Dimitri, links. I appreciate you. Ah, I do like a Psalm Simulacrum. Him to Torok does... There are people on their legs. Yeah, it's double black, though. It's true. And you want to be able to play it that might table. I like Glory Ringer a lot. I think Psalm Simulacrum is also very good. We have more four drops than we have five drops. It's but... true. Oh, this is a two drop. Let's keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. That's true. Look, now we're fine. We also already have Golos, which is very similar to Psalm Simulacrum. Yeah. I kind of just like Glory Ringer. It's like removal, okay. too. I bet it would have tabled, though. Ooh, Karn has legs. So does Zealous Conscripts. Yeah. What kind of legs do you want today? Green White have the most legs I've seen. Okay, well... I mean, all of our cards have legs, so I don't know what you're talking about. I think about. our deck looks good for what we what we, what we have. Like, I think it's one of these two. I think our top end's pretty heavy already. I would just take the Conscripts. We don't necessarily have to play these. and that's just Yes, don't... we do. Oh. Oh, my. Moldrifter does not have legs, unfortunately. It's true. It's got fins. Mm. Still, we got one in the chat for Zealous. Take it. Plus, we're probably not playing Golos, honestly. Well, maybe we do. Wow, you were the one who's like, Golos! And I was like, I don't think he does much. The stats again, what's all his abilities? It's a 3-5. You search for land. And then for for seven mana of all colors, you get to... Yeah, I get to... Free look the at top the top card. three, right? We play them, yeah. SNT? No, no consideration for show and tell. We definitely don't have a show and tell -y kind of deck. And we kind of do, but show and tell is kind of a... It just never works I out. I got excited about Necromancy, and then I was like, oh, wait. No there's legs. no way this has any legs. Hypnotic Spectre is not bad. Could take Kozilek. Really? You didn't want to take friggin' Karn, but now you want to take Kozilek? I was kidding. Oh. I didn't know. Bolivian Stone has legs. Hippie does have big hands on his legs. What? What? Oh, I hate Oblivion Stone. I think it's trash. Wow. Oh, man. This pack's not great either. You doing okay? Yeah. Burp. Can you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that on the stream? I'm sure they could hear it. His mic's pretty sensitive. They can, hear, they can hear a hunter in the background chewing on the bone right now. It's true. I can get a Rick's Mad Eye Reveler. I guess. Hmm. What about Dread Return? Yeah, it's fine. There are legs on it. There are multiple legs. Dread Return got that pelvis? What does that even mean? I was really looking for one more fixing land. Oh, actually, Ar Arcane Artisan seems good with both Grizzlebrand and Hellkite. Yeah. And it's a way to discard things for Makeshift Mannequin. That seems real good for us, actually. And there are some leggies. Seems decent. It's also a 3-drop, which is relevant. Yep. Kolagon's Command, also pretty good. These two are always... I always feel like I get these both of these guys. I think yours is a little better. Really? I don't feel like he does anything for us, though. I kind of like... I don't know. Sacking a dude to hey man. put a counter on a thing and draw a card is good. What, man? He said he doesn't do anything, but he has that other ability that you always I get it mad at me for not talking about. What? His, his five minutes. The five? Bro. Yeah. This just letting you draw cards is better, though. I don't know. Also, more black than we are blue. Which is slightly relevant. God, just give me up. That's got legs. That does have legs, and it's also not too bad to reanimate. Okay. Gaunti came back. Recurring Nightmare came back. These people have no idea what they're doing. And Wretched Confluence came nuts. back. That's ridiculous. Lightning Grief goes on legs. That's true. Also, Lightning Grief is literally a picture of two legs. I mean, technically it's not because it's just the armor, but I think you can... Wow, do you think shoes are pictures of feet? When you see a picture of shoes, you're like, look at those feet. All I'm saying is I think we could count it. I'll take Gaunti. Okay. Oh, uh, Midnight Reaper's fine. How about Falcon Wrath? Just get in there. Oh, how many four drops are going to have, though? Mm, I guess. Rankle? More like Stankle. 
That is more like Stankle. Oh, there's a Kozilek. There's an Obliterator. Alright, we're just going to take all... Una's Prowler? Maybe. We'll think about it. I'll consider you. You're a way to get things in the graveyard so that we can reanimate them. Uh, we only have like one reanimate though, right? Oh, what up, Hodge? Sure, I've got... Hodgey boy! I guess we could play Dread Return because you did take it, right? Dread Return? What are you talking about? Alright, this is 26 cards. What's our strategy here? Our lands are good. So you need three cuts. Yeah, I think we're cutting the Hellkite. We have Gristle Brain. We have two eight drops already. I get behind that. I think we can cut Yawgmoth. Uh, sure. We're not that creature heavy. You cut Midnight Reaper too? Uh, I'd rather cut like Lava Coil. Really? It's like our weakest one of those things. I think this is fine. I think we have a lot of solid cards here. Did you hear what I said? Are you listening to me? I heard you. I'm going to play it like this. Okay. Look at all these legs I see. Let's see how many... Sort by color. That's what we want to do. So we're mostly black. Yeah, we are heavy black. One, Thankfully, all of our lands are black. One, two, three, four, five. This is 11 black. We've got a 10. Probably got one more. I think we can go up to nine. Let's, well, let's see if we need to first. We got one, two... Can we get... Yeah, we can get a Blood Crypt, Pluto Delta. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then blue we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So nine, seven, seven. That seems good. Sure. Let's do it. All right, legs I see. All right, take it easy. Oh, a T-Mobile update. I wonder what kind of sweet... Oh, the security of your device has been improved. Boring! Over half the deck is for a CMC or higher. It'd be interesting to see if this bites us. Uh, it always does. That's fine. I don't know. We got some early stuff. Michael B., you heard it here first. Please connect to a charger and recharge to at least... Okay, so you gotta be at least 30. <clears throat> oh, Arcane Artisan was the other card one of the big things for. Like, we'll have Gristle Brand, we'll have Mirror Battle Sphere, and then we can discard them with Mir with Arcane Artisan and put them into play. Well, a copy of them. What's the difference? It can be bounced. Oh, I like that we have two three drops in hand here. I think we just got a Blood Crypt. But that leaves us with... Actually, that leaves us with only... One red... No, one blue, rather. Which is fine. We don't have that many... Oh, we got Treachery. That's and we got... It, do we have, is that it? Uh, we've gone under, right? No, that's one blue. Oh, see, now we can just go get a Blood Crypt and I don't feel bad about it. Unless we had a Golo, so that wasn't really even... Didn't even matter. That's rude. Front mic and back mic. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. That's incredible. Thank you. Alan Beck. I can't, not here very long. I want to stop and say hi and cheer to the oak. Oh my God. Where have you been, my dude? Where have you been? I hope your life is, is very good and I really appreciate your support, buddy. Admiral Akbar, Alan Beck, you are my, my hero. Unlike Michael B., which is. Wow. Who is just a zero. I thought I was your hero. Can't believe this. Did you ever know that you're Mike B? So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. They're going to have six mana next turn, so we're going to play Hippie, and they're going to play Primal Titan. Seems good. Hope you guys are ready. 
Getting your pills ready, Grandma? That's right. <laughs> Got to take my Mike and Ike's before bedtime. Don't we all? Hmm. Okay, well. That's rampy. Now you're just showing off. Do they have access to nine mana next turn if they play land? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Get them. Hopefully they'll just get the thing they're trying to ramp into. That's what, that's what we're hoping. That's not it. Well, maybe that's the forest they needed. Oh, God. Watch him as he chews ice. I'm chewing some Mike and Ike's right now, so. What? They didn't do anything. I guess they need 10 mana. So hopefully we hit their Ulamog here. Oh yeah, I'll trade with this for sure. No need to draw a card. That seems great. Yeah. Another forest, huh? This guy, right? Wait, don't we get to play land? Yeah, but I think Gonti's still better. You don't want to play like Scarab God here? What does he do? He's a 5-5 five five that gives his stuff back. He's like a really big threat. All right, fine, Michael. I'll play the stupid Scarab God. God! I guess if we do hit a land, or if we draw like Ultimate Price, we can kill their thing and then reanimate it. I needed 10 mana once. Like, that's the thing. If they needed the mana, they wouldn't have blocked with the Shreetown Village. I think they just don't have any payoffs. One. I guess not. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Have fun with that. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your Utopia Sprawl, you friggin' nerd. <laughs> Every time they activate this during their turn to put a counter on, I'm like, all right, that's good. That's the end. Wow. Well, the end of their turn. Hmm. This is good because no matter now if they play something big, I'm like, snap them. Snap him and crap him. We just get to get their last card. Seems good. That does seem good. There you get the passive scarab got up. Oh boy. Okay, oh, so they just had nothing. Huh. I think I'm gonna to here, my dude. Yeah. But can't you get anything and play anything with any color, right? Yeah. So get Plowinder. That seems insane. They're just they're just dead. We well, can't cast it right now. Right, but next turn, like we just have to fade one turn, and then we plow under them, and they're just totally dead. That's true, I guess. Fade one turn. Yeah, that ain't gonna do it, buddy. Oh boy. Well, they do get to they do get to pump it, make it big. They get to bigify it. Oh no. I was born in Chicago and moved to Ohio when I was three though. That's a cool story. What does that have to do with anything? What a, what a nerd. Do you know how big of a nerd Super Fritz is? That's unbelievable. I think the only way to get that nerdy is to just stuff your face with meatball parms with mayo and and, and pepper jack just all day. Just all day. Oh how it gets a bad rep. It ain't so bad. He's right. It's terrible. It's actually like the third best state to live, to be quite honest. Why do you say that? Uh, because that's what the study said. What was the study about? Uh, the best states to live. Washington State is number one. Okay, we, we win. Plow under. What was number two? Number two... New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Interesting. I was thinking it was a legit study. Yeah. Uh, maybe this was it. Maybe maybe it wasn't Ohio number three. Ohio was up there though. Okay, hold on. Best states of the twenty nineteen. No, I saw it on the internet. Utah is number nine. Now Washington is number one. Oh, Hawaii is number one on this one. Whatever. The point is Ohio was pretty high up there, and I was like, oh, good for you, Ohio. Just around the internet. Remember that, Jam? I feel like I want this lava coil in here. 
There's zero chance Ohio's voted one of the best states to live in. You know how messed up their weather is? The best chase to live in? Uh, I never minded their wonder weather, but then again, <laughs> I'm one of those weird people that likes cold, so. Yeah, I like cold in, as in like 50 degrees. Once it gets to like 10 degrees, I'm like, eh. No, man, I like it a lot. Do you really? Yeah. The funny thing is, I know it was one of my Washington friends who posted it, so as long as I can like... Let's see if I can find which which Washington friend it was. Oh, nope. Dang it. That would have been lucky. I was like, wow, that was the first try. Uh, this is going to be a long search, man. We know a lot of people in Washington. <laughs> There it is. The United States ranked from best to worst. Perfect. I knew it was Dave Marcy. Yeah, really? Because it was your second guess. So, I think second guess out of all the people we know in Washington that you just bragged about. Yeah, so I have Washington is number one. New Hampshire is number two. Oh, Minnesota was number three. Yeah, uh, Ohio is 39th. Never mind. I made a terrible mistake. Your state sucks. <laughs> wow. 39th? Your state's fucking trash, dude. I'm sorry. What's Florida? 13th. Oh, not bad. No, no, not bad. I'll take top. Which is crazy for the Florida man. Florida man. Johnny Florida man here. What's Hawaii? Twenty fourth, right in the middle. I imagine they take the um, uh, evaluates all states in health care, education, economy, infrastructure, opportunity, fiscal stability, crime, and environment. So they take all those factors into consideration. Oh, you're just gonna. Draw that little booger. Why is so expensive is the problem. Hmm. That definitely makes yeah. That that would definitely uh. Let's see what they're gonna draw. Plow under. Good lord. Get him. So plow and blood braid. So they're not gonna hit that plow under. Why not? Because Blood Braid's going to say no. Oh, they're going to add... Wow. Oh, yikes. Yeah, they go Plow Under there. They go Avalanche Rider or our Underground Sea, and then next turn they go Land, Plow Under the two lands we have in play. Yeah, like, that's pretty good. I don't need to play that out to know how that's going to go. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, I like living in Washington. Utah's number four. That's pretty impressive. Utah's I just like Washington Light, right? I've been to Utah twice, and both times I had a great time. Well, shit it's like man. Washington, but it gets way colder. Probably. I don't know if it's. I, I think there's a lot more. There's a lot more. Uh, a lot conservatives more in in Utah. Sure. And it's a big Mormon state. But if that's something that you can get around, and you just don't. Yep, associate with it's right there, and a lot and lots more Mormons. The one thing I really liked about Washington is the lack of insects. That Spiders were like the only insect I ever encountered in Washington. Yes. Granted, they found your way into your house quite a bit, but... Because they have to get out from the rain. Don't we all, man? Don't we all? You're going to draw that for us? No. Oof. Probably going to discard that. Along with a gristle brand that I'm sure I'll draw. Okay, so Washington next. is sick. Nothing beats it. Well, according to the survey, nothing does. It's Nickel Bolas and what else? We're playing the Baleful Strix. I want to keep Treachery. I think we can probably get rid of Archmage. You can't get a quality Italian beef in Utah thus invalidating it for everything? Well, I mean, you could just make one of those sandwiches, right? If you know how to do it. I don't even like beef. <laughs> those are the only things I... They like about Washington, there's like no good Italian food. It was rough to find good Italian food. And the only ones that I ever went to that was good was real expensive. Kelsey, I think so much for the reset, buddy. What's up, my dude? Sorry I've been absent for a while. I had a rough semester so far. My girlfriend of three years just dumped me after I showed. Oh, after I after I sh after I bought the engagement ring. That said, I'm almost Damn. graduated. We have full-on chemical engineer soon. Well, Jesus, I guess there's that. 
Buddy, I'm so sorry, man. That sucks. I'm gonna kill Mike, this. you can make yourself. Come on, man. You're better than that. Well, I mean, what other are your options? What other are your options? You can only get Italian beef sandwiches in like one place, right? It's like one state. Well, depends on if you go to the right neighborhoods, if you know what I mean. Hey, oh! It's Italian. It's Italian beef. Sandwich. You know what? It was a. This guy can't even eat it. I, I can. I can physically eat it. Yeah, but you don't want to. I make a choice. I make a choice not to eat it. I guess we just keep killing their things, right? Bye bye. Portillo's is multi state now? No, oh, I didn't know that. Is it Portillo's or Portillo's? Porque? Portillo would Im implicate Mexican origins, right? As where Portillo's would be Italian? Be Mike racist. said it right. Okay. Don't, don't be racist, Mike. Don't be racist, Mike. Racist? Is he said racist? Is being is is being racist racist? Hey, Thwok, someone already made that mega mega uh, nuclear burn, okay? I don't need someone making it twice. This is terrible. Ohio is the best pepper jack meatball subs. Gross. Portillo's, not Tillo's. Portillo's, okay. All right, well, uneventful term. We get to keep a scarab god. Hopefully, they don't have anything to do with that. But serious question: I know your opinion on eating meat and hunting for sport. But what are your thoughts on fishing? I go to Florida twice a year for the fishing, and just curious. Um, like, I don't have a huge issue with people like fishing and then like catch and release, right? Or if you catch fish, just like if you're gonna eat them, like I'm catching this fish and I'm gonna eat it. Like that's fine too. Fish have no souls. Okay. That's not accurate. Except for that one goldfish I saw someone pet and it seemed excited. <laughs> Jesus. That goldfish is like, oh yes. Do that. Pet me. So play your Delta and your Scarab God. I'm going to do it. Actually. What? Sure, man. You got it. I consider not playing it. Why? Because they're going to crack it and fail to find. I'll just crack it. Next time, I'll crack it before they go to my, their turn. Oh, that's a good point. You know, I can crack it. <laughs> oh, God, what is this? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Let's get a watery grave here. Roast beef, frets mozzarella, sun-dried tomatoes, and Fretz vodka. Frets mozzarella? And vodka sauce on garlic bread? That sounds pretty good. Well, sometimes you just can't beat one Avenger of Zendikar, I guess. Damnation would be nice. Let's see what we draw. Like, there's nothing that you really do except for run the Scarab God into like their Avenger or into a bunch of plants. And then put all the damage on one plant. Thank you. Sure, that's not super bad. Are we dead? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <sighs> Maybe. If you pet a ginger, they get excited too. Your argument is invalid, Mitchell. Don't get that ginger hate, man. I mean, they don't, don't have feelings. They don't have souls. Hodge Galashi with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, my dude. He is the best. I like how that ginger joke started from South Park and now has just become a thing. They didn't tap my lands. That was a mistake. I mean, we still might be dead, but... Yep, it's pretty good. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yep, literally had to draw two cards that put lands into play. Why wouldn't you? 
Like, they have nothing. They literally have a Mind Slaver and nothing else. So they get... They just top deck Avenger of Zendikar and, and a way to get two fucking lands into play. That's cool. Did you get the meatloaf I sent you, Grandma? I didn't get the meatloaf yet. <laughs> did you Did you send it by mail? I would check with the postal service to make sure there's uh. Like I don't know any ginger. Kelsey, have a good have a have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging by and uh, for the support. And I'm glad that you're gonna be almost a chemical engineer soon, my dude. That sounds like a a great uh, a, a great life milestone. Send us some chemicals. Send us some chemicals. <laughs> Mike B. I'll keep and that's this. That's when the police showed up. Yeah, we got a kid asking for chemicals on a live stream. Anyway, what I was saying is, like, I don't know any gingers personally, but, like... You know why? Go ahead. No, I don't know why. It's actually, like, really messed up. What's messed up? Like, it's like... Like, it's, 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 yeah, like, it's, it's, up, it's like literally being racist <laughs> to people. But and, it's all in jest. Is it, though? A lot of people take that real seriously. Who, gingers? No, like people on the internet like they like they like they're like so amped to say that kind of stuff and I just I don't know I think it's kind of messed up are you fucking secret ginger yeah I'm a secret ginger secret ginger <laughs> shit secret ginger anyway you don't hear that enough on twitch did you get the meatloaf I sent you it's true um yeah just just to be clear disclaimer I have nothing against gingers. In fact, some of my best friends are gingers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was literally <laughs> fucking perfect. <laughs> oh, boy. Secret ginger? Is that like a mystery shopper? Yeah, same thing. Da -da. Secret, secret. A secret ginger. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. They just played Rift Bolt and shot our face with it just randomly. Our opponent's name is Sweaty Turtle. Seven. Oh, they're just gonna. What are they just doing with these burn spells, man? I believe they're trying to kill us with them. That's crazy. I like you, man, but that's crazy. Isn't the sweaty turtle that thing you did in college? That's nonsense. Turtles don't sweet. Hmm. Interesting. Why do I feel just so bad about this? I'll just take it. Block it. That's a big boy. Sweaty turtle was the name of my sweaty turtle in high school. Hmm. Sweaty turtle was the name of your sweaty turtle. Interesting. Is that interesting? Gulp. I have a dumb question possibly how and why are redheads called gingers like gingers ginger ain't orange that is a good question I do not know thank you neon Tokyo rain hi I just ate cookies love it good for you love it I hope they were delicious remember that time we just got literally exact seed because they had the perfect cards again I'm just like I feel like this cube was like, like literally the simulation just broke and uh, everything that can go wrong has been going wrong. Yes, this was a stip draft. You can tell by using command stip. His name is Michael B. Secret Ginger. He's a secret ginger. It's pretty good. What? You? You're not. Talking about the song, idiot. 
don't have to be mean about it. I mean, you can be. It's fine. It's fine. Get in there. What are you going to do? Are you going to shoot my guy? I dare you. Oh, I guess you're just going to shoot with that instead. How's your how's your drink, man? Sounds like you're almost done. Now I am. Well, that's cool. Cool. <sighs> Who's your face looting? Why? So we can potentially hit stuff in our yard to reanimate. What? We have a reanimation spell in our hand. Why don't we just wait till I get stuff and then I'll do it? That's bad. Is it? You want to do nothing this turn? Why don't I discard cards that I have that I want to keep? Come on, man. Where's your spirit? Where's your spirit? Your head in the game. Oh, I'll murder your whole, your whole family. We don't need a mountain. I don't need a swamp. We definitely have double red cards. Do we? Yes, we have Glory Bringer. We have. I mean, at least glory, at least glory bringer. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna get rid of the mannequin. I don't even care about it. That don't impress me much. Uh, uh. There's ice in it. I'm just getting started. Wow. <laughs> it's surprisingly accurate. Shut up and take my money. Hmm. Oh, Neon Tokyo with a hundred dollar donation. That's totally cool. You're amazing, my dude. Oh wow, man. That was random. Share that cookie love, dude. Thank you so much, my dude. You are the hero we need. Oh my god, man. You are awesome. I took a torrential gear hook. Neon Tokyo, thank you so much, dude. I really hope you're doing well, my dude. You have done it well, but I also haven't seen you in a while. So, like... So, it's totally understandable, right? Like... <laughs> that's a fat Franklin for... Wow. Wow. I've been watching on YouTube. Oh, man, that is awesome. I like it if you guys haven't if you guys aren't able to catch the stream and that's what that's what Kelsey has said as well earlier like if you guys aren't able to catch the stream but you still watch on YouTube that like that's awesome I really appreciate that just because it's nice to like know that like you guys it's weird like as a content creator and a streamer like I hate the idea that people just disappear like there's definitely viewers who just don't show up anymore and I'm like I guess they're just gone but like sometimes if you're just and I definitely notice like you definitely notice when people are not there you know so it's awesome, like, if you guys are, oh, I was just busy, and I, but I've been watching on YouTube or whatever, you know, that's pretty cool. I watch on YouTube and type my comments in a notepad to myself. <laughs> Interesting. That's, that's legit. I, I do that, too. Do you? I don't. That's what I thought. I lied to you. I'm sorry. Secret, secret. So, you know how, like, everyone has, like, emotes and, like, uh, their stream set up where there's, like, stuff in the background and all that? And, like, you have memes that you play, right? On streams? Yeah, like stream, yeah. Hmm, no idea what you're talking about. Oh my God, I hate no, don't like that. <laughs> so, anyway, uh -huh. I watched a streamer the other day who's streaming poker, and he had so many memes and sound effects that it was actually distracting. You're like, this is just too much, man. Like, every once in a while, he would, like, turn to the camera and he'd make his face stretch out, like, weird, and then you'd play, like, a bunch of really loud noises. Like, it was so loud it was hard to hear him talk. Yeah, but like that, but distorted and stretched out. Like you had a weird face. Yeah, like that, but if you like put the quality down and made it all pixely, like it was weird. That does sound weird. Are you going to copy my Gonti? TBF poker is really boring. Not to me. I love poker. I was tempted to just kill my own Gonti. He doesn't want the stream to get a rerun. Well, he has the everyone who plays poker online and streams that they always have a delay on their 
play, obviously, because you can't just play with your hand open. That'd be insane. Oh, my God. This Gamma said comment about gingers. Jesus. Just read an article that postulated several theories as to why redheads are called gingers. One theory states that because many foods that have ginger in them are reddish or amber in color, i.e. ginger snaps, gingerbread. Another theory states that because redheads tend to be fiery and can pack a punch like ginger. A third option stated that ginger from Gilligan's Island was a redhead. It might have come from there. While a fourth option might have come from, at some point, Britain occupied Malaysia, home of the red ginger plant. That's interesting. Hmm. Fascinating. Poke was my jam when America's played online. Uh, you can still play it online on like uh, America's Card Room, Bet Online, and there's one other decent site. America's Card Room. But unfortunately, they still have problems. Like there's in America's Card Room, there's known to be like bot players. Which I got is a problem so with America's Card Room. <laughs> I hate you so much. Mike, you should stream some poker. I, I maybe. He won't. He never will. Well, I actually have to get my computer fixed first. So. He has to. He has to upgrade his computer. He has to get like a camera, a lighting setup. He has. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> it will never happen. I'll just play with the light on. I told Mike when he was unmotivated. I was like, "Dude, you should make commander videos because I think people will really watch them. I'll help you with every aspect of it. I'll help you with the recording, with the fucking editing, with the uploading, whatever you want to do. I'll help you with it." He's like, "Yeah, I could do that." Fucking never did. Never had. Like it's just Mike is a dude that'll say, "Yeah, I could do that," just to get you to stop talking to him about it, and then it'll, it'll never come up again. Well, That's how it works. I might actually consider for poker because I'd be playing anyway. He won't. He won't. Ginger is called gin, ginger in French, pronounced Jean, 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 which I find that is funny, actually, unless oh. I'm saying it completely oh. wrong. You can use your setup while you're at the public. <laughs> so random. I'll be gone for like 15 minutes. I'll be like, all right, time to go, bud. Sorry. I was just at the public. So you know how it goes. I used to play online all the time at Ultimate Bet. Yeah, you can still play on Ultimate Bet. Public subs are pretty legit, though. I just had one the other day. Are you going to bounce my Gonti? Public subs are good. Oh, that's gas. That seems fine. You want me to replay the Gonti? Wow, can you imagine if we played this guy, though? Maybe we just makeshift mannequin for the Baleful Strix. Or the Hypnotic Spectre. Hmm. Hmm. It's better drawing a card <laughs> or <laughs> making them discard. Let's make them discard. Shinshe. Oh. Oh. Did you like that? Yeah, it was great. Tell me that you liked it. I just did. Tell me again. Swear to me, Michael. No. Michael, you better swear to me, dude. I could just see Mike streaming poker in a dark room with just a desk lamp on and the microphone from his earbuds that came from his phone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so that's your last card. So I'm going to kill this dude so that you can't profitably block. You should have blocked first. Mike B, if you had a chance you to play in a World Series of Poker, do you think you'd be nervous mess? Uh, if I ever have a final table, probably, yeah. I mean, final table's like huge money and there's a lot on the line. And you have to play differently when ICM is involved. Glory. Or at least you should. You ever bring the glory sometimes? You ever, you ever, you ever do that? My Twitch switched off dark theme and... Oh my god, dude, that's happened to me before. Like when I, when I, when I go to a new browser or something and I go to Twitch, I'm like, oh god, it's like, it's not even... It's so unpleasant to experience, even momentarily. Can you do, like on your Twitch app, can you do it? Because I haven't found a way in the I'm pretty sure app. you can do it everywhere. Look at this. Watch if I... Let me see if I can turn off dark mode here. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. I just want to see it real don't quick. Don't do it. I don't think I can even have it. They're probably like, look, you don't want that. Don't worry about it. What if Final Table was literally just people dressed as cheeseburgers? Um, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they have no cards in hand. Oh, wait. Where did that... Oh, that was ours. I Mike, see. Mike, you stream his underground poker game in the back of the Chinese laundry mat. <laughs> You're not too far off. Uh, where I play poker with uh, monthly with my friends from work, we actually play in an apartment complex pool area that's outside, which is super random. We only do it because someone lives there. 
Someone lives outside? That's cool. That makes sense. My first time playing a real table in a tourney, I was so uh, many, many nervous, many string baits accidentally because I was so nervous with my eyes on me. It was crazy. Yeah, poker in, stressful. In in real life poker, like it can it can definitely be nervous if you're playing for. I think if you're playing above your normal stakes, that's that can really get you. Luke, up. again, thank you so much, man, for the donation. Really appreciate you. That was awesome, dude. I am super grateful. Poker for sure is too much stress for me. Um, yeah, it depends. I think that's when you play above your limit. You should never play like above your bankroll. Maybe you shouldn't. Like if 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 you got if your net worth is two thousand dollars and you play in a tournament for like three hundred bucks, it's like that's a lot. Maybe for you. Hey, you. You know what I hate? So much hate. What? It's you. And the hatred is you. You like that song? Also, when you bluff, you can kind of, you can fake. Uh, you can just try to sit as still as possible. That's what I try to do. Maybe you can. I got him. I got him. It's basically I prefer craps. I love throwing some dice. Makes, dude, I don't understand craps at all. And it seems like the, it seems like more spewy than uh Sp roulette. Spewy? Spewy, yeah. Like loose. Bag. Like spewy griffin? I know what spewing means, okay, Michael. I didn't know. So that's so racist, dude. <laughs> Wait, why is that racist? Whatever. Don't be don't be don't be that way. Also, when my opponent gut shot at me and when I called for a judge, they allowed it. I'm still confused. I are you talking about me? Oh, I got gut shot once. I was making a little joke there. It's messed up. Pass line bets is one of the best odds in the casino. I don't know what that means, but sure. You're like, but yeah, it probably is. I bet. That sounds about right. I never really prayed craps, so. Did you say you never really prayed craps? Oh, I never prayed craps. It's racist, Michael. Don't use the derogatory Asian voice. When I bluff, I just look at my opponent and give them an initialing shrug. They just assume I've got a full house every time. Well, I mean, if you're acting weak and your hand is strong, that's usually what you want to do. Since people generally play pretty straightforward. You know, dude, that's actually, that's a cool story, bro. Ideal craps if you want to learn, Mike. Teach me through the chat. Let's Teach me it. right now. Wow, this is, this deck is so aggressive, dude. You're right. Our hand seems good, though. Wait, in craps you can bet on someone to win their hand? Or their roll? Wow. Maybe you can. I feel like I'm contributing a lot to this conversation, guys. I just want to make sure everybody knows that. Poker is all about changing gears and maintaining a consistent demeanor. Yeah, that's definitely true. If you're playing like people who know what they're doing. Don't turn around, Mike B. Michael B is in town, Mike B. I am in town. It's true. Wow. I feel like in cube we either crush or get crushed. It's not close, yeah. It happens all the time. That's how it feels anyway. I don't know. Well, we're at 10. They have three cards. I think we're okay. <laughs> no, they have two cards. There's three lighting bolts, so we're definitely dead. <laughs> this is actually... That would be a lot, of a lot of typing. Sure, I understand. I'll tell you what. If I'm ever in your area, we'll play some crap. Oh, shit. My mouse just died. Oh, my God. Plug my mouse in. Can we... Do we have a funeral for it? No. That's, that's inappropriate. Why is that inappropriate? I just want to give it respect and give it a proper burial. You can do whatever you want. I'm not your dad. I'm not your funeral daddy, Michael. So, like, if 10 opened, you can bet on a hard 10 5-5 five, five roll for yourself and for the shooter. That's literal oh, okay. Chinese to me. Well, no, they, I think I watch, they do have three laying bolts. We're at 7 now. Let's see. Let's see it. Wait, can't they sacrifice him to shoot us through two? No, it deals two damage to a creature. Okay, so he can't go to the face. Got it. Uh, you can bet any way the dice can roll. Okay. You got to know when to roll them. Know when to roll them. I don't know, but we have played some cube matches where this is like super back and forth and very fun. This cube has has seemed weird. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's probably me. I'm going to keep admitting that's Maybe probably... it's just the changes? I don't know. It's probably just me. Dun, 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 dun. Craps is making small investments. The longer it goes, the... Yeah, 
Yeah, but like you can't play crafts for a living, right? Like, it's not a thing. I mean, you can't. Well, I certainly can't because I don't even know how to play it. Yeah, one day. Ch -ch 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 changes. Playing craps for a living. Ch -ch changes. An external play as I, I crap for a living. Ayo. Wow. Nice. For a living? You get paid for it? You get paid for that shit? Well, when you're at work, you technically do. Unless your salary. Right, but I made it. I get paid. You get paid for that shit. That was the that was a joke. I like per diem. Per shitum. Just a play on the word shit, man. God. Shut up. Oh. I get paid to poop. You now get paid get for it. that shit? That's just funny. It's just a thing. I thought you were talking like per diem, like per shitum. Per shitum. <laughs> no, man. All right. Well, we're at seven. You got one card. Best way for beginners is to pass line bet then defend after the open. Uh... I don't speak that language. Oh. Oh, God. We let them draw, but we get to steal it, so that's pretty cool. You know, that is pretty cool. I got two cards out of it, but not the worst. One, two, three, four, five. We also have seven lands, so one more land we can just cast Gristlebrand. Hey, guys, guess what? Okay, what? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can give them thirteen here. Oh no, we can't because that guy can't attack. Oh, we could actually made the gristle burn. We could have made the consecrated sphinx uh hasted. How? Because we can play Zal's Consecrate. Oh, take control target. of it, yeah. Target our own. It is Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday. It is officially Wednesday, my dudes. I like that my cool stuff articles go up every Wednesday, so I get to say that in every article. He's got two cards. You got the con father. You're fine. We won. He was right. It's true. Actually, I'm going to be honest. This is a more... Um, oh, God. How can I go to my... How do I go? How do I do the thing? Well, see, it's very simple and easy program to use. All you got to do is Alt-F4, tab... <laughs> Uh, backspace, backspace, X. Oh, God. You have to do it in 30 seconds, though. In that order. Undefeated. I can't, I don't know how to get back to my deck. <laughs> I don't want to hit play match. I don't want to drop. Is there any other screens up? No. Okay. No, this is it. You got uh, me, buddy. Uh, edit deck. There we go. Okay, thank goodness. That was a really... I was going to say, I thought you could edit. It was so hiding. I'm going to throw Lava Coiling over Makeshift Mannequin. I think Makeshift Mannequin's kind of poop. Your poop. You know what? That's fine. I accept. Okay. Your fucking poop. Got him. Funny subway story. There was a nice lady next to me ordering a very basic cold cut Italian sub, and we were having this lovely convo about how she's doing mission work in Puerto Rico. The conversation abruptly ended when she saw my sandwich artist uh, smothering mayo all over my meatball sub, and I just. <laughs> Stared between her and the sub suge suggestively. None of that happened. That's a fake story. Yeah, he lost me at the mail and meatball sub. Jesus, God. Why would you want, like, fatty mayo with marinara? Ugh, ugh. You're a fatty mayo. <laughs> wow. I thought that was your nickname in high school. They used to call you a fatty mayo. I didn't like it. No, I, that's not my name. Lotus Cobra. Fertile Ground. Dang, I can't kill that. Oh, if you I'm tightening it, okay? I'm doing the thing you want me to do. Maybe if you didn't loosen it to begin with. I didn't. You did. It just does it. Don't blame other things for your problems, Michael. It's Mike's Wednesday birthday chicken Sunday, my dudes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds correct. I'm going to discard Battle Sphere and probably just land here because we're going to Baleful Strix. I'll just get an underground sea. Underground sea. Da -da -da -da. Underground sea. Mike is much better when he was dead. Take it from me. Wow. Killing Mike B. <laughs> hey now, I don't like this song anymore. Hey, this used to be fun. <laughs> I 
That shit would never fly to Publix. You're right. You go in there, you'd be like, I'm going to get a meatball sub with mayo. They'd be like, get out. We can't do that. You get out of here. Also, they couldn't do it because they don't make those. Burr, 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 burr. Actually, they do. I'm a liar. They do make it when they have meatballs available. They totally just lied to you. That's right. I don't believe anything you say anyway, so. <laughs> the only thing I think that... I haven't tried it yet, but the only thing I like about Subway is the fact that you can get all your subs <laughs> with garlic <laughs> bread. <laughs> Does that make it good enough? I don't know. No. Hmm, how do we beat that? Same way any deck beats it, Michael. They don't. Conceding? Yep. Guess you play Midnight Raider? Midnight Raider? Yeah. He's gonna raid your... butt. He's gonna raid your butt? Jesus, that's not okay, man. With permission, of course. Midnight Raider's gonna raid your butt. And I am serious. How much do I donate for you to eat a full-long meatball with extra mayo on stream? There's no amount. Serious question. Oh. I don't even eat meatballs, so it'd have to be like $2,000. Well, he said Mike. Oh. Oh, well. Dang. How much you donate for you to eat a foot long meatball sub with extra mayo? Extra mayo. Ugh, why does it have to be extra mayo? Can it be just regular amount of mayo? No, eat your extra mayo, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it drip down your face. For Mike, like 20 bucks? No, that's way too low. It's probably not even worth 20 bucks to go to Subway, have the sub made, pay for the sub, and then bring it back. Like, No, definitely not worth 20, 20 bucks. That's a whole chore in and of itself right there, my dude. See, I don't... I'd have to go to... Well, I don't really go to Subway, so... Hmm. I wouldn't have to worry about that part. Frank, how much for you to eat a, ma uh, eat a mayo sandwich with extra mayo? $1,000. Does a mayo sandwich with extra mayo just mean bread and mayo? Come on, bedevil. No, it's lame. I would turn off the stream, honestly. Wow. I don't blame you. What was my price for that? Oof. Um. Hey, guys, look. Every format that Oko's in is miserable. What would the cost be for me to eat a meatball sub with mayo on it? Seven thousand dollars I do it for a hundred bucks a hundred bucks meatball sub with mayo for a hundred bucks for Mike wow I do it yeah Cl I want to see the meat to see the mayo gushing from your lips <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ <laughs> how much wait hold on Backpedaling. Hold on. How much extra mayo do we mean by extra mayo? What's the definition? Because I have to go get it, so I have to know. And I might have to adjust my price from there. I also don't want to be like, you get it back, and they're like, that's not enough mayo. And you're like, what the god dang it. <laughs> they like resend their donation because it didn't have enough mayo on it. The whole bottle? Okay, no, we're not doing that. That's not real. I want to I wanna <sighs> hear you gargle mayo oh, if so I'm paying good. $100 to see it. Gargle mayo? Okay, that was not part Let of it. Let me hear deal. you gargle. The answer to, to Oko are 1,000% more common in this format, and it's still miserable. Yeah? Because it's turn three. Like, you have to have it by turn three. It's so miserable, my dude. So, wait, $100 to eat a sub, but only $50 to slap Frank? Hey, that was Frank's price. He could have upped it. That's true. I made the price. Plus, the slap is a lot faster than an entire mayo sub with meatballs. It has to be covering all the meatballs. Like a good slathering? Well, I th well, they usually they have that bottle and they move it back. They and have forth. that bottle. It's just called a regular. It's just a bottle, Michael. It's not that bottle. A like squeeze it's... bottle? Is that what you oh, call it? Oh, the Great Hinge. That's nice. If you eat a meatball mayo <laughs> sub, I'm going to unsub, then resub, just so I can unsub again. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are you punishing Frank for my, for what I'm doing? It doesn't have to be stupid excessive. Maybe the answer is Oko's eating a meatball sub with extra mayo. Wow. Trust me, it's real. I've had people have me empty a full bottle of mayo on their sub. People are not real. What? Oh, 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 oh. On any sandwich, that's way too much mayo. How about slapping Frank with his hand slathered in mayo? 
I don't know if he's going to be into that. Oh, I'll be into it. All right, buddy. Well, yeah, Ashiok is brutal, but at least like it has a reasonable loyalty, so you can like reasonably attack it. What if I steal Oko, can I do anything fancy with it? No. <sighs> you can exchange control of something for something does which does nothing. nothing. And I'm tempted to sell his conscripts the food and then kill Oko. It gets it off the friggin' board. The Great Hinge is really problematic, though. What's more problematic? <laughs> I mean, we can't deal with this, though. That's the problem. I'm worried if I try this meatball mayo sub, I, would, I might have a gagging problem with it. Like, it might make me throw up. You? Yeah. Oh, you poor thing. All you did is make $100 to throw up once. Bitch, you've thrown up for free before. No, I gotta finish the whole sub, though. Oh, no. Deal with it. Hot mayo, nah, never. Oh, you get that on a hot, hot sub, dude. Get it toasted? Yeah, put it. get it toasted before. Get that warm summer mayo? Oh. Oh, I, I didn't agree to that, okay? I'm donating 50 towards this righteous cause, so I need to know 50 more will come out. Mike, you need the whole sub. Okay, slow down on the donations until we get it, though, because I don't want to be responsible for that. Also, we need to make... We need to, we need to have an actual agreed-upon amount of mayo before this ever goes off. All of it. No, that's not... I'm not... I want him to go in the back and be like, get whatever mayo you have in the back, too, and <laughs> put that shit on there. <laughs> it's just like this <laughs> slopping mess of whiteness. So Ooh. you're going to have to put it on yourself. I'm like mixing and matching my drinks here, guys. What are you, uh, like eating straight mayo without? No, oh I would my not. God. No. I guess that's just as bad. I don't know. Can you please stream the order at Subway? Uh, that would be difficult. Tell them to hold the mayo and then put. That's half not that difficult. I think you can stream from your phone. But my phone though. Well, I, I could go with you, dude. Oh, God. Hodge, $25 mayo or something cube. <laughs> okay, so if we don't get the mayo thing, then that'll just be, uh, you know, a future thing. Oh, they're just killing their own things. Can we just draw Damnation? Because that would actually be pretty sick here. Come on, Damnation. Eight line... Eight lines is I'm like extra confused. that I would recommend. Hodge, you are Can wonderful. Can we agree that when I go there, I say, can I get mayo on it extra mayo would that be good enough no you need no because this isn't a regular order you, you're going in there with the attempt to do a meme so you want to make sure they mayo the fucking shit out of that thing you need to be like i need extra extra mayo like as much mayo as you can put on a sandwich okay that's i think my price has to go up at that point why because it's getting grosser you're getting grosser and i'm just tasting only mayo well, that's the fucking point. It's the it's the it's a meme, dude. I don't like this meme. Why did you think this was supposed to be fun? It's literally a challenge, man. You need to get a squirt bottle of mayo and chase each. Mike's like, oh, oh I thought I was just having a tasty, delicious meal with no challenge whatsoever. Well, first of all, I'm eating a subway, so it's never a tasty, delicious meal. Let's Ooh. get that. Let's get that. Dude, Brent, correct. dude, dude, Brendan's in the Super Fritz is in the chat, my dude. He doesn't have to like the food because he works God, there. Just, dang, man. Am, am I offending him? That doesn't make any sense. He you're, just works you're there. You're offending somebody, my dude. Wow, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's right there, dude. Mayo is a powerful flavor. I suggest you just need one-to-one -one mayo to meatball to marinara. Eyeball it, and I need to cover the entire sandwich to get mayo with every bite. I want you to explain that to him, too. I want to make sure I got meat mayo in every bite. <laughs> Give me mayo in every fucking bite. Then I think they're going to call the police on me, because that's just weird. I'd call the police on you. <laughs> this dude wants mayo in every bite. I think he's... I think he's being held hostage. Sir, blink twice if you're being held against your will. What's this you're gonna do? Into the royal, my treachery? No, you changed your mind. I know Mutual is just being swayed by his mayo aversion. Oh God, what is this court? I don't dislike mayo. I just don't think it goes well with hot marinara. I don't know. Maybe that's crazy. <laughs> it's a little wacky, yeah. 
Also, lick your lips slowly when describing your ah. mail request for the sandwich artist. Wow. I want to see you drool a little bit when it happens. Is there a way to get mayo inside the meatballs? Wow. <laughs> Y'all ever make grilled cheese with mayo instead of butter on the outside? Shit slaps. I've heard that's okay. But that's not really about the mayo because it like melts into the bread. It's like different. What do you think this mayo is going to do, my dude? It'll melt into the bread a little bit. It's going to melt into my mouth. If you say so, my dude. Do they make bread out of mayo, like a mayo bread? No, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. You could probably put a little mayo in a bread mix. Mayo on a bread mix? Like when you're making bread, you put a little mayo in there. You know, people put eggs and, and oil in it. You put a little mayo. I don't think anyone's putting oil in the bread, man. Sure they are. Mm, I don't think you know how bread works. I know all about bread. I'm the breadiest bread you ever breaded. Are you? I have no idea how to make bread. I know it involves flour. That's about it. Buddy, we know. I eat Subway five days a week. To be fair, I don't pay for it, but it's completely fine food for the most part. It's the shit people force me to add to the sandwiches that makes it seem like trash. Um, I just think they're... Uh, my problem with it really is just the quality of the meat is real low, in my opinion. That's what I don't like about it. Also, I do... My, my other complaint about Subway is that um, I feel like they're very stingy with their toppings. Like they have like there's three like little little meat squares on a six inch or a twelve inch or whatever, and then there's three little cheese slices, and I'm just like this is too, it's too rigid because it's very corporate. Like they're obviously very corporate and they're very like conscious of like having specific proportions for every sandwich, but sometimes I'm just like, just give me a little bit, just give me just give me a little bit more, man. Also, you live in a place that has Publix, yeah. We have pretty good sub options here. There's also like Firehouse and Jersey Mike's. Damn, Nate. As bad as we're feeling about it, maybe we'll do one. Who knows? But also, I think if I worked at Subway and I could make the sandwich with any proportions that I wanted to, I think it'd probably be fine. Like, it's not inedible. I'm not, I'm not going that I far. I also used to love, as we've gone over, I used to love the sweet onion chicken teriyaki sandwich. What changed? Yeah, I don't know. I think I just grew up, Michael. I just grew up. You can just buy the sauce and take the bubbles. You get the best of both worlds. Wow. Every time I get a meatball sub, I have to keep telling to add more mayo. I need my sandwich juicy, you know? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're drawing like three fucking cards a turn. Oh, they have 11 cards in their deck. I guess we can beat this, right? Looks like they have 14 to me. Oh, yeah, because they, yeah, they activated a little Vivian, so I thought they were like, they had three in hand that they were looking at, so to speak. Right. I mean, no, it's pretty bad. Our situation? Well, we get the killer here, so that's not the worst. It's pretty bad. Under Mike B. Someone had me toast pickles on their tuna sub today. It looks so sad coming out of the toaster. People are weird, man. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, why would you toast the pickle part? <laughs> toast my pickles, please. Man, whatever happened to Blimpies? I think they went under. Yeah, because they were terrible. I hated Blimpies. That was not good. I've had this sandwich like once and I was like, yep, not again. It wasn't a crazy sandwich either. I think it was just like a standard club sandwich or something like that. Oh, I had the Pioneer Club sandwich. It was weird they had a bunch of magic themed sandwiches though. That is weird. I had no idea. <clears throat> the Chipotle near my job is so hit and miss sometimes I get the guy that's all fucked <laughs> Look at the fucked. guy that's all fucked. Fucked it. It's not my money and piles it high. Well, the next day I'll get the guy who acts like every piece of rice comes out of his paycheck. Yeah. What up, Kim Possible? 
Usually, though, Chipotle, if, if it's not meat, you can always ask them, like, like if it's rice, you can be like, hey, can I get more rice? And they'll oblige you. Or like, hey, can I get some more uh, roasted veggies or whatever? You guys ever have Yaya's chicken where you are? Anybody have Yaya's chicken? You know, as much as you said that was good, yeah. I also had a coworker who was like, orders there like every week. Yeah. And and then someone else who tried it at my work was like, yeah, it was really good. What the fuck is a Yaya? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We should go. Dude, me and Andrew talk. Andrew's also like, dude, Yaya's is, is, some, is, is some shit, man. So why don't we go tomorrow? I'm real scared about the local Yaya, I'll be honest with you. Because of its location? Hmm. That's got to be the one nearest, right? That's like by the Target or whatever? Yeah. Or whatever that store is now. I mean, Yaya's is real fucking... It's real good. It might just be a Florida thing. I don't know, man. Oh, 9-9. Nine, nine. Totally, totally cool. Totally cool. Totally cool. So we're, if we played this last turn instead of this, they'd have a Vivian Reed, but we could actually play this guy now and gain control of this 9-9. Nine, nine. They only have five cards left in their deck. Why can't we do that? Because we don't have eight mana. It, I don't know. It looked like eight to me. It looked like you had more swamps. I don't know. Well, it looks to me like you're a fucking dummy. <laughs> so I guess we're even. I love me some Quiznos. Hard pass. I think we're dead. Even if we block, we take five. I guess we can play Golos and block and hope to not die, but I don't foresee that happening, so... We'll see. Mayo and hamburgers, you're an ant. I'm a fan of mayo and hamburgers. Yeah, for sure. I love a good mayo on a good hamburg hamburglar. Not too much, but just a little bit. I want it slathered on that thing. I want it. I want it oozing mayo. I want like a bun burger, juicy. Pot belly isn't bad. Yeah, pot belly is good. Pot belly is also good. Sweet Michael Beans. I will never go to Quiznos because of that singing hamster campaign. Mayo is oh, shit. Oh, I remember those. Mayo guys. will always be shit. Wow, that's aggressive. So I take it you don't like mayo. So why is mayo on a meatball sub so bad? Because of the marinara sauce. Marinara sauce and mayonnaise does not go together. My also, dear. meatballs are not a, a, a meat form. It's, the, the, it's not. It doesn't go with mayo. Hamburgers and meatballs are spiced completely differently. Oh, for fuck's sake. Also, meatballs often contain other meats besides beef. Yeah, like your mother. Wow. <laughs> Dang. She contains other meats besides beef. If you know what I mean. Yeah, we have like three lane Chick fil A lines right through. That's like every Chick fil A. I wish I had more ways to deal with artifacts in here, but I do not. Mike, I want you to go into this meatball and mayo challenge with an open mind. You might surprise yourself. You won't. I mean, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. Meatballs are already juicy enough, my dudes. You're not a fan of mayo nera sauce. Wow. <laughs> Subway meatballs are 100% beef. Okay. What made us scoop there? Uh, they stole them by the Fey our five drops, so they got five 1-1 one, one Creechy Boys. 1-1 one, one Creechy Boys. ba ba -da. And then we're basically dead on board to the Hydroid Crisis. So now we're going to hope that we top deck a green or a blue source. Preferably, or a green or a black source. A blue or a black source. We chop, that's a, a gristle brand. Blah, 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 source. Blah, 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 blah. Did you just have a stroke or what's happening? No, it was just, that was just the sounds you were making. I don't think so, man. I remember it. You remember? Like it was yesterday. Okay. One time. Opponent here is just talking about mayo and couldn't stand it anymore, so he stopped messing around and finishes us. Wow. Mike, if you want, you can order it with garlic spread to balance out the flavors. In fact, I'd recommend... Wow, so it would have marinara, garlic spread, and mayo? So many fats. So many mics. Wow. Got him. Land? Just one land. Nailed it. God, I'm good at this game. It's keto. See how that makes it better. Yeah, it's keto. Good. 
It's keto, my dudes. It's keto's day. Then you can trick yourself into thinking it's aioli. I don't know if that's better. Aioli, aioli. Might as well pour some lemonade on that sub too at the point. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Did I just attack and... Uh, that's a fine trade. You draw a card, they lose two of their flyers. Seems pretty good to me. I'd rather dude. keep this guy around so I can draw more cards later in the game, though. But what if they die? Also, I don't think they're going to block. No, they block. It's a bad trade for them. Okay, so $200 for Lemonade Alley Meatball Sub. <laughs> <sighs> don't make it worse than it already is, man. Come make on. Make it worse. Ask them to crush up some macadamia nut cookies on the meatball sub, too. <laughs> okay, this is beginning to get ridiculous. Get it. <laughs> Put them cookies on there, boy. Mike B, I'll tell you what. I'm going to order my usual from Subway tomorrow, and I'll send a picture the next time you're on a stream so you know what to do. <laughs> is, your, is your usual this sub? Why does Siri start hearing me all of a sudden now? It's really weird, dude. Is that from your like iPad? Yeah. Huh. That's because that was good. Because yeah. Should we damnation here? I think we can do better. I don't think we damnate at all. You're not my subway dad. It's true. I am not your <coughs> subway dad. Jesus, are you okay, man? You sound fucking disgusting. This is a hiccup, man. Are you drunk? No, that was not a hiccup. Gas was expelled. That was a hiccup. Just bring the whole thing home, jam it in a blender with some ice, and make it a smoothie. Then you can chug it down. Okay, we're not doing that. Jam it in some ice. That was a hiccup. Make out. it a wow. smoothie. That was a hiccup out. Like, we heard it. It went, Ugh. it was like acid reflux hiccup. Which is also the name of my metal band. Acid reflux hiccup. I tried getting meatball subs as my topping on Subway pizza. They wouldn't do it. So you wanted to top their pe your pizza with an actual sub? Gee, I wonder why they didn't honor that. Hey, look, it's that, your favorite. It's that, your favorite. Do, 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 do. Sure, I'll block. Really? Yeah, I get to draw a card. Yeah, but you can save it to block the 4-4 four, four flyer. Who even... How's that? It's okay. How you like me now? No, for real, how do you like me now? Uh, about the same as I did before. Okay. So not at all. Boom! <laughs> hey, you sneeze. I did. I wonder if he's also got like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage with him to 7. I guess this is fine. Should we damnation there? Feels like no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They're two away from Terrastodon. Yeah, we could have put him to 1 there. No, we could never. No, it definitely could not have done that. Oh, yeah, your guy doesn't have haste in mind. Even if it does, Vizal's Conscript still is 4, 5, 6, 79, 10, 11, 12. I was thinking about stealing the fl their one one flyer and doing it, but your Karasis wouldn't have haste. But they're also they wouldn't have been at fourteen. They were at nineteen. We dealt five. Oh. Oh, Not are they just gonna it. bounce their own Karasis? Ugh, that's disgusting. Oh God. I said it's pretty good. For them. Yeah. Agreed. I could also mail you the meatball sub. You know, it's right on the money if the envelope is looking delicious, savory, white, and red fluids. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that. I'm done. This conversation needs to end. Hey, get out of there, you little sneak! He was like, "I'm gonna go to that window." I don't know how he knew he was doing that. I heard him. Thank you. Thanks so sneaky after all. Hajiku lost you with the gifted sub to Thwok. Thank you so much, buddy. You are ridiculously supportive, my dude. I appreciate you. Oh snap! Oh snappy! Snappy. You heard me. A late stream with a treat? Yeah. This guy. It's your dad. 
They have six cards in hand. Seven cards in this guy. Jesus. So are we done throwing out the outlandish stuff so we can get him to come down on the meatball mayo sub? Wait, what does that mean? Rogue Optic, what's going on, Dev? Good seeing you, my dude. Sweet Michael Bees. He's living up in the trees. Talk about mayo from meal clip and I'm in? Jesus. No, please. Choose blockers. Of course they stole my guy. Why wouldn't they? I'm pretty sure now I want a damnation. Oops, gotta use black, huh? One, two, three, four. Back off, boogaloo. I said, back off, boogaloo. Just start watching a Legends of Ruterra video, and it actually looks, it does look like a fun game. It was super fun. I had a good time. One, two, three, four. Damn, not Sion. So I got to draw two and shoot you for one? That's pretty cool. One of these has to be a land, right? Nice. Again, we're at seven lands. One away from a natural gristle brand. I'm not proud of my Subway gas station pizza life. Yikes. Oh, Apple Coca-Cola? Oh, you saw that. If they play this, I'm probably just going to steal it and kill them. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I drew grasses for four, huh? Fascinating. It's weird that they underpaid there. Well, what can you do? Oh, look, it's your boy. Okles McSmokles. All right, so we're just gonna shoot your face. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's lethal. Just don't mess up. How did I mess that up? Forgetting to shoot them at another turn. I didn't. I just did it right here. <laughs> Why did you get so angry? Stop telling me what to do, Dad. Dad, 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 dad. My dad, 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 dad. dad. Let's all attack Oko. That would be bad. I like how you hovered over it. Just make sure. And this that's this lethal. Alright, so we are currently 1-1 one, one in matches, 1-1 one, one in games. This last game is going to determine whether we go 2-1 one, or 1-2. One, Bring in the lightning, Helix. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. Don't say you're not going to do it. I really like Bogart and Hellkite here, kind of. Over. Maybe Gristlebrand? I guess if we have 8 mana, we get to cast either of those. I don't know if we want. You could probably cut, like, Golos. Golos helps us get... We're going to cut an 8 drop. And we're not going to put an 8 oh, drop yeah, in and cut fair, the card fair, that fair, gets fair. us to 8. <clears throat> Back off, Boogaloo, I said. We'll keep the sand. Need some lands better than that. It's good. It needs a land or two. What is that? Oh, that's a 
is this? Michael, do it for my cuck boy. I'll rename him. Oh, that cat's adorable still. Look at that cutie. Sleeping in the lap. I went to six. I will rename him after you. Uh, no, I think you keep calling him Koga. No need to rename him, Mike. That's that's good. Rename him. Well, she can't rename him, man. He's that's, already got his name. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of renaming animals either. That's silly. You're silly. Nice. Let's get a watery grave. Rise from your watery grave. They didn't crack this dude? They want to get you. <laughs> they do, I guess. That is why my cat is still called Cat. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, like the hospital's always super well run, unlike our subway. So they didn't sack him EOT and they didn't, didn't tackle them. And they didn't play anything this turn. This is all very strange. Very bizarre. I just want to keep hitting lands, but we're going to run this dude out here and see if this gets us some good good. Do you like a fight card? You get a collective call or quarter calling for one? Sure. Uh, they are desperate for lands, I guess. I'm killing that thing next sack. turn. I guess that's why they didn't sag him, because they wanted to do that. Couldn't they have done that and then I guess they just did it. It also explains why they didn't attack. It's all coming together. It's all coming up. Chill house. Chill house? Mm hmm. Okay, you know what? I'll give it to you. X is going to give it to you. Is he? I'll pump my tree speaker. Yum. Don't play Pacific Slime. Jesus. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Would have loved to land here, to be quite honest. I think we're going to try... Oh, fuck. Yeah, if we had land, we could, like... Shoot his chief speaker and play that. I gotta, I gotta take a risk here. Yes. Nice. Yes. No, 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 noise. That was pretty sweet. They have two cards in hand. Do you think DMX ever found his dogs? Maybe. Take three. Land. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. I'm okay, gas. What does that mean? Huh. That's annoying. Yeah. Boy, this Man of War has been timely every single game, huh? Easy trade. Sure. Let's draw a damnation. That would be amazing. I mean, lands are it's still black. good. Yeah, lands not the worst draw. Because next, if we draw the loot two more lands, we can go Mirabal, Sir, and Nicobolus, which is fine. what I was afraid of, but you don't have anything to go with it right now. Sure. Easy block. Yeah, they probably don't have too many targets left for her anyway, so I think that block's fine. Right. They have no cards in hand? Sure. 
Seems good for us. The devil. Hmm. I don't think we put the shield down for it. That doesn't seem worth it. Just in case. Yeah, I'm afraid they're just going to draw like Terrastin. I mean, they can crack the clue as well, so it's frustrating, but. I feel like we're just so close. All right, that's nice. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's see if we can nab that last card. It's gonna be a land. Nice. I will definitely turn the shields down for this guy. Turn down for what? For this guy. Oh, okay. You have one card. Let's see how your top decks are. Not great. All right. How about a land? Two. Okay. So you block the eight, take two, you go to sixteen. Seems fine. You go to get two more. Probably just gonna play this here. No reason not to. <clears throat> so they're out of spells. Hydrid Crassus and Avenger of Zendikar seem like the worst draws for us. That's fine. That does nothing right now. I think we're doing quite well. Ha! Ah! Oh, wow, we can exile that, and... Oh, that's insane. Um, No, it's literally just better to tap these, because it deals 12. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. So you go to three here. We get to put Gristlebrand into play. You get to draw two cards, which is fine. You're gonna name Carnage. I'm gonna name Homage. You can have your card, my dude. I don't know what they can actually draw here. I have not heard the new Mumford and Sun single. Is it good? Oko. Sure. Don't think that's going to do it. You may have it. I mean, I'm going to sneak a gristle brand into, pro into play, so. You know, you'd still be dead here, right? I, I don't care. I want to do it. Oh, we win. 2 1 with the legs I see stipulation. Not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash Frank Lepore and Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday for new articles. You can also check out Manatraders.com. There's a great subscription service and you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to check those out if you want to try out Modern on, on Magic Online, if you want to try out Pioneer. It's an awesome service. I use them myself and uh, definitely check them out if that's the kind of thing you're interested in. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.